When spreading butterflies, you may find it easier working with professional tools like forceps. With a rehydrated butterfly. Once again, I'm going to be inserting the pin in the thorax, putting it on my spreading board, and holding the wings down on the board by using the cardboard stock strips. It's much easier if you keep your strips of paper close to the edges or the groove of the spreading board. To prevent swiveling, put a pin on both sides of the head near the thorax. Starting on one side, using forceps with a spade tip, we're going to be putting them underneath the forewing on the leading edge, the top edge of the forewing and gently scooting the forewing forward holding it down with the pin. The hind wing, we want to create a V, and we're going to move the hind wing either up or down to create a very nice looking V. In this case, I'm going to be going in the middle of the hind wing, and I'm going to scoot the wing down make him look very, very nice, holding him down with my glass slide, and continuing to do the same thing on the other side. In this case, I do not want to lift this way and pull. I want to keep his wing close close to the spreading board and pull up on the edge. Hold the wing down where I want it and pin. Also when using forceps, you do not want to go anywhere near these edges. This is very, very delicate and the forceps will have that tendency to tear or put holes in the wings. Now, I want to lift the hind wing or move the hind wing up to make it even with the other side. And I'm going to be going towards the center and gently pushing the hind wing. Holding it down with the pin. putting my glass slide over it to prevent the wing edges from curling up. I no longer need pins on each side of his head, but I do see his head is a little crooked, so it will be a lot easier if I can straighten it out by using pins Sometimes it's a, you have to play around to make the head straight using one or more pins. Okay. And we're trying to achieve a nice V between his antennas.
using as many pins as you need, cross pin them to hold the antennas in place. And as an extra precaution, since when they dry they have a tendency to curl up, I do like to hold the tips of the antennas down with pins. If necessary, with the abdomen, we might want to hold the abdomen down in place using pins again on either side.